Uh, <clears throat> Professor Foster, you were um, you were uh, miffed last night. I was very miffed right? last night. Okay. Um, I am miffed at the Detroit Free Press, their Sunday edition. Now, um, here are the three stories that made the front of the sports section. Sports sec, you know, in case you're an idiot, your most important stories are supposed to be on the section front, all right? So they had something on the Red Wings finishing up the season, which was cute. Then they had something on the U of D women's basketball team where that thing is whole falling apart about how uh, the coach uh, either dissed or didn't diss the players and the university is not backing the players and every player on UDM's women's team has left. The third one was a story on a high school shortstop that might sign with the Tigers one day. I was like, what is going on? That was the same day, you know, that buried in sight, Ben Wallace becomes the first uh, non-drafted NBA player to make the Naismith Hall of Fame. That didn't make the front of the free press, and I was like, what the hell is going on here? People want to hear what the Tigers are going to do. So, bam, no, no, no. this Wait a minute. maybe good with shortstop, a shortstop on there. That they might, might draft. Yeah. Who no I one know. has ever I, heard no, of. No, I know what you mean. They want to hype them up because they want to hype the Tigers up. I don't know why it's on the front page, but. Yeah, but Fish, he's saying is that bigger news than Ben no. Wallace? No, Absolutely it is not. not. No, it is not. But I'm saying that right. they, they shouldn't have put that on the Continue, front page. Terry. But Professor Foster just failed you, Fish. <laughs> yeah. I, I have bad news for you. He, he and, just, he and just you know what? You. Yeah, I've been I'm going to give him a check mark for being undisciplined, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Terry. Hope Joy does the same thing tomorrow. He was being bad. And he might. No, he's going to do that to Art, though. Mm-mm. Not, if it's as hot as it is today, he's going to have spicy Art. And he doesn't want spicy Art. I'm starting oh, to get to the no. miserable point. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm bro, this is tough. This is uh, tough. Let me, let me, let tough. me ask you something. If it's tomorrow, <laughs> if it's like 95 degrees in the studio, and Joy Bell... Pisses you off. Are you going to go off on him? You might see yes. a couple of these coming out. Uh-uh. I don't play Got that the game. the gun's going. I'm not good in super hot conditions. I'm a cold person. I yeah, grew well, up in northern he, Michigan. Here's it. What is it? Like, it's like 72 degrees Look right at the now, thermostat. Right? I think it's no, that but, 83. No, but just the temperature outside. I don't even want to know what the temperature is because I'm, I'm, like, I'm going <laughs> to vomit. And we're having Outside is 72, right? but you know it's going to be 80 this weekend. Or Friday. Our, the, the weather, like here in lovely Birmingham, 79, 79, 88, 88, 88. That's the rest of the week. That's the rest of the week? I'm not I'm not coming in uh, later this week. No, I what? I'm no, done. Oh, you, are if you kidding me? Is, if it's 88, or if I do, uh, I'm not going to wear a shirt. Yeah. That could be, Terry, you and I talked about this week, uh, talked this weekend. That could be the start to your OnlyFans. Yeah, I, I don't want anybody to see my belly, though. Yes, fish. Uh, the thermostat is 80 degrees exactly. No, there's no way. It's hotter than that. It's well, there. it says 80. I trust no, I, I the thermostat. It's, it's so. 80, but later this week, it's gonna, that thing's going to oh, say 90 oh, on boy. there. Oh, boy. Good Terry, luck. can you, you save know, us? Especially if, if you are, and Terry, I'm guessing that's the editor of the sports page that, that has to make that call. Um, I want to make sure it, I'm being correct. Yeah, the sports editor and the editors, there's plural editors have to make that call. And um, so the writers don't make that call. No. You just kind of – so, yeah, they, they decided Ben Wallace being in the Hall of Fame shouldn't be on the section front. It's almost like I used to feel sorry for guys like Terry and Wojo and Mitch and every – like back in the day when I was working with a bunch of these guys when people would go off at you on the, the headline of your column. Yes. And, like, I can't – if I had a dime for the amount of times that I heard somebody like Terry say – I don't know what to tell you. I don't come up with the, with the title. Uh, we'd be sitting on a beach right now, hot, <laughs> but we'd have fruity little drinks in our hand because I'd be a rich, rich man. That's and, and that's a misconception. Shrimp. Yeah, that's a misconception. And a little shrimp, too. Ooh, I'd love to do. Uh, love to. Two things. So someone asked if they missed the call-in section. No, you could call at any time. Uh, the other thing is, is this, and this is just ignorance on my part. How long do editors and like places like the Free Press have to turn around a story and get it actually on paper? Um, for the Sunday paper, they plan that paper on a Friday. 
And so they have plenty of time. But you can, you know, if news dictates where you put a story, it can it can happen like at six o'clock and you can get it in. We knew Ben Wallace was going to be in the Hall of Fame early Saturday. So there was a conscious decision. They knew he was getting in, and they said, we're not going to put it on the section. So a lack of time is no excuse for them. No excuse. Okay. Terry, you know what's interesting about this? I I mean, to me, and I'm deferring to Terry here, okay? He's he's the real journalist in the room. Nostalgia sells right now. There isn't a lot to talk about. This isn't like... This isn't like, hey, the first place Tigers, oh my gosh, Al's put it all together. This Red Wing team's so exciting. What a first round playoff matchup this is going to be. I could almost understand it if you had those variables going on. But for me, it's like, wouldn't you want to ring that nostalgia bell? I, you know, I'm not a nostalgia guy, but what's the most important thing? What are people more interested in? Um, and what's news? The other stories. There was no news value to him except the UOD story, but that was that had been in the paper for the last week. So the news part of the UDM story has diminished. Now it was more about sensationalism. It was more about a coach. I'm not going to allow players to come back. And that had been written and rewritten like three or four times during the week. So in my mind, that's the one you – no, no. The Tiger shortstop is the one you move inside. Um and I understand sometimes papers want to get women stories out front sometimes because they don't they don't cover women uh, very often. So they probably wanted to put that keep that on there because it's a women's sport, a women issue, and we don't do that very often. By the way, Terry, just mm-hmm. to, can we go back to the beginning of the show for a second? This is just for your purposes. While you were talking there, I got seven messages to the Woodward Sports. Um, and not, I just not, not 71 seven seven okay. seven in, in what that was about 45 seconds where you were educating the class yes so I apologize for not giving you my full attention professor Foster but in that time I got seven messages and you know how many I read none none okay I was hoping delete <clears throat> no nope. if you said three nope I was walking off the show no Say, Sean no you're a liar and a hypocrite <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather, no, the, I'm sorry. This stuff is, is fascinating to me. I've always, I was, I've always been one of those guys, you know, as, especially when I was younger. I mean, I really was one of those guys. I didn't have any, anything else. I mean, it was sports for me. So yes, I was one of those guys that grew up reading you in the paper or Mitch in the paper, or Woj in the paper, you know, when that, for me, it was the late edition of the Detroit news. It came at four o'clock in the afternoon. And, and so even at 14, 15 years old, I go, well, why the hell is this? Why is this plastered in, in front of my face and everything? And uh, this goes back to like what Fish was saying. I, in my opinion, and maybe I'm a bad guy here. You tell me, Professor Foster. I, I think even the average person out there is sick and tired of hearing about the hopium that people are peddling with the Tigers. W- wouldn't you bury that? Is it, is yeah, it a hope by now? Yeah, I agree with that because... No, there's something. Let me. The Tigers are weird. There is a huge group of people that want to sip that Kool Aid. Yep. All the time. One thousand percent. But the people who know baseball, they're like, okay, we've heard this before. Give, give me a break. What what spring training story do we get every year? He is in the best shape of his. That's career. right. Miggy's never looked better. Look at him. And then what happens every spring? He gets fat, he gets run down, he gets injured, and he hits a home run like once a month. Every year, that's the that's the story every for the last five years. Do you remember when it was an automatic, absolute no brainer that Miguel Cabrera was going to get to five hundred home runs and three thousand hits? Yes. I don't know how any human watching him in the last couple of months could could sit here today and say, Yeah, he'll get there. Got two home runs, I, but yeah, <laughs> but you know what? Like, I, if I'm not, what is he like? 115 hits away from 3,000? I think it's about 115, right? Is that what it is exactly? I, I don't see it this year. It's next, not there's always this next year. year. <laughs> there's always the year after. And guess what? Until he gets that 115 hits, they're not going to cut him. I don't think they are either. No, mm-hmm. that's that's the magical milestone, and it, it's. I mean, it's it's funny because I use my son as an example. Okay, my son has known Miguel Cabrera his whole life. 
I mean, literally, as, as far back as he can remember, he was here. Except for the 2000, he always points out, he goes, it's, it's weird to think he wasn't here for the 2006 season. But we've seen one of the greatest hitters of his generation. There's no doubt about that. And I think, if anything, it's more of a factor for a guy like my son or Kennedy or, or Fish that you're used to seeing like this larger-than-life character it, it probably affects him more than it affects you and I because we've seen ball players come and go and fade and everything. And these guys are going, wait a second. This guy was the top of the heap, arguably the greatest in Detroit for about a 10-year span, and he's a corpse out there. He, I right. mean, that's what he is. He's a corpse. Let's be honest. That's, that's not Miguel Cabrera. It's his corpse. He is. But, you know, his own doing. He wanted to get paid. And you know what? The Tigers are stupid enough to give it to him. Yep. So I don't begrudge Miguel Cabrera never, for making thirty million a year. Never, never, ever. I always tell this to Joy. I'm one of those people when people get wrapped up about that. I can't believe this guy left or whatever. It's like, who the hell am I to tell somebody don't do what's best for you and your family? Well, uh, you're a little pissed that Ben Wallace left. Well, for me, for me, me personally, best of luck to you, Ben. I didn't like it, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in that. Like, it's, it's, it's selfish. Good for you. Ben, you, Ben. Was right. He wasn't going to get his love here. You and know, he wasn't going to get $60 million yeah, here or anywhere else. Nope. And good for you. God bless you. Hi, Fish. Terry, did you read the shortstop, the almost or maybe shortstop story? Because maybe if you read the article, they would give you details on how he could be a tiger. That's, that's But he's not. Probably. <laughs> And I he understand could. he's not, and he could. But maybe there's readings like he's a top prospect. The Tigers are talking to him. Okay, did he make the Hall of Fame? Who, the shortstop? No. Yes. Is no. he in high school? Yes. Okay, is he a tiger? No. I but, don't care. Well, but that's I why don't they put care. On, I know that. You don't care, but maybe people do, so they put it on the front page to tease you and for you hey, to hey, open up the book. Hey, time out. Uh, Fish, talk to, talk to Terry with a little bit of respect. You're not talking to Joyke right now. <laughs> I, I know who I'm talking to. Yeah, Jimmy okay. Fleck in front of No, you. but Fish, listen to what you're saying, though. And, and and I think Terry did. All right. He might be a Tiger. Well, they put that in there for a he reason. He might be a major leaguer. Yep. He might, he might get drafted in the first round. Ben Wallace made the Hall of Fame. He exactly. did. Yep. Do you understand? Right. And you know what, yeah, Fish? I understand. I might shoot you. <laughs> I might break that glass. And I might show my ass to everybody here. But until I do that, the police are not coming. All right? That's fine with me. But if I do that, then it's in the newspaper. It's on the police blotter. But I haven't done it. Fish said that's, that's fine correct. with me. <laughs> I, I, I just, you know, the editor, obviously he's there for a reason. So I'm assuming that he should know what he's doing. So he put that in there for a reason. He obviously, I'm assuming he knew Ben Wallace... Was in Fish, there. are you trying to get a Weber. job at the Free Press? I, I'm, I'm fascinated by no, the line of questioning. I'm not lying. I'm I put you on the I'm, prep crew on Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm defending him because he's the uh, Detroit Free Press, which is a well-known yeah. newspaper. So I'm assuming that they know what they're doing. So, so does that make him infallible? Doing. Ooh, good point. No, but I just... I'm assuming they know what they're doing. Don't try to cut. Well, sometimes people slack, that know what they're doing. Sometimes people make mistakes. Fuck up. Hi, still, my name is Sean Belichick. I know all ben about that. that. He still should have put Ben Wallace on the front, but I'm just going to defend him just a little bit. No, we don't know the guy. Why are we defending? This no. is fascinating. I'm, Terry, seriously, I'm, I'm fascinated, especially I know, and I'm, I'm going to get your back here, Fish. Fish, you are a meat and potato sports guy. You are a big sports fan. So I'm fascinated. Is that something you would be interested in reading? Pro About the height? Yeah, just you personally. Is that? Would you read an article like that? Uh, potentially. Not, I, not very did, likely. Did, did, I have uh, zero uh, interest in it. None. But, but did, did you, did you have a fans. copy of the Free Press this Sunday Free Press this weekend? I did not. I'm not a diehard baseball fan. Maybe if I was a diehard Tiger fan, they obviously have the sheets and they can go through their list of target marketing, okay. right? And they can did say, you, did you, we notice a lot of Tiger fans you read our articles. at any point think about pulling up the Free Press sports section online? I did not. Exactly. Should I do that? <laughs> okay. Is, is that something you would recommend I do every Sunday? If you want. Fish, I love you, okay. but you lost this one, like, buddy. No, like, 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 
That's fine. That's fine. Fish, fish. fish. All right. So Orchard, Orchard, Orchard Lake St. Mary's. Orchard Lake St. Mary's has like some tremendous ball players, right? right. Coach, Pe- Coach Petrie's doing a great job. I can understand if there was an article about okay, uh, Fish is a fantastic shortstop, and you know his his chance of getting drafted in the first round or high. I can understand writing that article. Is that something I might read? I might read it. But in order of importance, that's like my fifth or sixth story that I'm going to read. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, it makes a lot of sense. I don't know why it's on the front and, page. And this guy is from the state of Michigan and Metro Detroit. The one in the free press is from Texas. Yeah. Not to be rude. I, I don't care what happens in Texas. No. No. And I'm, I don't care until he's a tiger. Right. I don't. I don't what, do I, what the hell do I care? Yeah. And it, hey, it, that's it, awesome. It the Royals on, drafted this cute little shortstop from Texas. Yeah, it shouldn't be on the front page, but I'm just telling you why it might be on the front page. You didn't do yeah, a real good job. I appreciate news. the effort. <laughs> Fish, I do. Like you're, You go in the batter's box and you'll stand there. I appreciate the effort, but... You tried, Fish. It's all right. Yeah, hey, listen, it's all right. Listen, coming you're, from the guy that literally loses every battle on this show, there's better days ahead. That's here, not here, true. Here, here, no. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the thing. If you're going to be a devil's advocate... <laughs> Have some fuel in your tank. Ooh. I wanted don't you to get in, fired up, Fish. Don't I was, come in I was with fascinated no fuel, no argument, no nothing to say, hey, I'm going to be a devil's advocate. You got to have something. Well, I didn't read up on the story. It's just a quick thought that came out that he's an editor for Detroit Free Press. I'm assuming he knows what he's doing. He's probably been there for a while. So he obviously has some idea of Actually, this Tigers is his first year as editor of the Free Press. The sports editor of the Free Press. You're being serious, Terry? Are you allowed this to say who it is? This is his first year, yes. Are you allowed to say who it is? His name Would is I... Kirkland Crawford. Ooh, oh, call so, Kirkland? Yo, Terry, you first... can, he's a good Terry, kid. can we Kirkland's get him on kid. one of these Mondays and interview him to see why? Because he might have a valid point of why he put him you on You know the... what? I, fish for you, I'll te- I will have Kirkland's number. How about no, I text listen, him? I'm going to tell if you. If that makes this conversation no, go no, away. No, we're not <laughs> doing that because we're not going to be like another basement show that brings people from our show over there and talk shit to him the whole time. We're not doing that. The guy made a mistake. We got to keep I it I wasn't going to ask him to come wow. on the air. <laughs> no, we're not going to. I've known the kid for 20 here. years. I wanted to ask him what his, what his mindset was. Be better, not better. He's a good what, kid. What, what if he asked him off the air? Is that wrong? Off the air is fine. But like, That's what I'm off. saying. That's what he's he's a good do. kid. He's got connections. Well, I just didn't never know why he did it. No, Kirkland? You guys hmm? want to know why he put oh, that on there? I'm hey. trying to chime in over here. <laughs> and I'm being camera? ignored. Look what you started, Fish. Listen, I literally just graduated from journalism school. Okay. I can talk about this, and I'm on Terry's side. Ooh. Bam. So, your first journalism 101, the very first class you will take, you will learn about the eight news values. And the more you hit, the more important your story is, right? So, we talked about how we talked about proximity, for example, how close the story is to the town. Like you said, he's from Texas. We automatically don't care. Where's Ben Wallace from? <laughs> Here. We care more. Prominence. Then why do you write the article? Ben Wallace then? has. I'm, this is why I'm saying that we're on Terry's <laughs> side here. Ben Wallace has more prominence in this town than this random kid from Texas. Boom. Two no- news values. <laughs> Timeliness. This is happening. He has just been announced. Boom. Again. Human interest. He appeals to Detroit. He is hitting all of these eight news values, and this is why that should have been on the front page, and not this random kid from Texas. I agree with that, but I'm. Then the guy, you guys are telling me the guy should be fired then. So I should go no. to the Detroit Free Press and I should not see his name on there then. But Terry, I got you, is what I'm saying. N- not now he agrees. No, the fish. I, <laughs> I had to school right, him. Look, I, we had to school him. I said that this should not be on the front page, right? I'm telling you that that should not be on the front page. But here is a reason why it could be on the front page. Those what are the news reasons value why did it could he be hit, on the right fishy? page. A tiger. The guy obviously knows what he's doing. A maybe tiger. So like no, no, no. the tiger, he went one <laughs> of eight. He, he's not a tiger. The guy sees the tiger's tanking, right? Baby boy, he's not a tiger. Baby I realize that. The guy right. sees the tiger's tanking, and he goes, let's see some prospects that the tigers could get. He's trying to wheel in whoop, the tiger fans oh Fish, to watch the tigers play prospects. baseball. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've been where you're at before. I think it's a good time to go to break. <laughs> I think it's we're not going to win this one today fish it's all right when is